Starting over is the story of George Bailey, who's in his late 40s, um, and he's a very authoritarian, patrician, old-fashioned father, and he has a heart attack, and he's given the heart of a 19-year-old wild boy, and it turns George into a 19-year-old wild boy, and that's basically the premise of the book. This man, who's a, a tough, old-fashioned dad, suddenly starts acting like a teenager. As many men do when they're 48. The story, um, the story behind the novel is how many chances do we have to reinvent our life? Really, that's the underlying theme. Um, that at first he's very happy that um, you know he's got this uh, new persona and uh, he's got a different outlook on the world and he's a friend to his children. I think we all dream of starting over. I think we all dream of uh, beginning again. And in George's case, it's very um, radical and very extreme. I think it's in um, the back of our mind constantly, this idea of um, having another go at getting it right. I don't think past generations really thought like that. You know, I think um, they realised you went round just the once. I think um, people have got a rosy-eyed view of what it was like when they were young. I think most people, a lot of people, have a tough time um, when when they're young. When I think back myself, you know, I think I had no money. You know, I was lonely. I wasn't doing the job that I wanted. I felt my life was slipping away. And um, but I think it's inevitable that we're nostalgic for our youth. And certainly George is susceptible to that. He thinks that if he can get that back, that thing that's that's lost as you get older, whatever that thing is, a passion for, for life and for politics and the belief that you can change the world. That's one of his big things is that you can change the world. You can make this world a better place. I'm going to write a sequel to Man and Boy next. I'm going to finish the trilogy that began with Man and Boy and um, continue with Man and Wife. And we'll end with Men from Boys. And Harry is 40 now and everything, everybody's got... 10 years of hard road behind them. His son is no longer um, this four-year-old little blonde moppet. He's a difficult alienate. He's like a kid in a Morrissey song. You know, he's 14 now and it's tough. His ex-wife having, having problems. Everything's different. So it'd be good to revisit those characters and see how they're getting on. Because they do have a life of their own. You know, if they're good enough and they're well-rounded enough and they're believable enough, then... They do have a certain momentum and, you know, any story that you like at the end of it, you think, you know, I wonder what happens next. And so Men From Boys will be what happened next. Well, it's, um, you know, I hope that people will find it um, a moving, accessible comic novel about um, a subject that's quite profound when you stop and think about it, which is how do we live our lives, you know, do we, um, do we try to make this world a better place or should we just be in it for ourselves? Do we worry about our loved ones to the exclusion of the rest of humanity or do we all have a responsibility to the wider world?